All right, so when you hear that title, what are you thinking about, Trig? Um, um, that, um, that I, I'm thinking that just, like, everybody's going to just, ha like, start having a pet. Well, anyone can have a pet, right? Yeah. And so what are you noticing on the front cover? Who might our characters be? Um, people. Yeah, there's some boys in the class, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so people in the class. So you got to go beyond not just people, but boys in the class. Let's look on this first page for the name of the boy, the main character. Can you read that first word? Bird. Mm, what do you think his name might be? Brad. Or Brad. Brad. So Brad is our main character. What are you noticing about him? Um, he is um. Yep. He's uh, looking at a piece of paper. Yeah, what do the other kids have? Uh, pets. Oh boy. What are you thinking about him? I, I think he's just feeling lonely because he he's the only one that doesn't have a pet. Yeah, you know, I think you're right. So we'll have to find out why he couldn't bring a pet to school. So what do you think you what's what do you think is going on on this page? Um, These pages. He is playing with the pet and there's like pet, pets everywhere mm -hmm. and then and then he just has to do all the work who's that he is who brain brad brad his name is brad okay i can't, can't you remember you think about that brad okay so brad is kind of watching and kind of looking very gloom and sad isn't he yeah that he can't have a pet like at every, school like everybody's just everybody is just not even doing yeah, I'm wondering what it means though when anyone can have a pet. Because here's Brad. Doesn't look like he has a pet. What does he have? Um, a drawing of a pet. You think that might be something? Um, I think I think I know what's going to happen. Should we read to find out? What are you thinking? I think them at the end of the story. I think they're just going to get more pets, and at the end of the story, he's going to get a pet. You think he might? That could be. Possibly. Maybe not. Or otherwise, he's going to realize it's okay not to have a pet, right? right? There's a couple different messages that could happen in this story. Yeah. So, what kind of book is this that you're reading? Um, it's um, realistic fiction. It is. How do you know that? Um, because um, I've been reading. Okay. What else? How else do you know that? Because it's it's being really, really, like, realistic. Yeah, and this could happen, right? Um, your friend Jeremiah was reading, and he said it actually couldn't happen at Westside, right? Because you can't bring pets to yeah. school. But it could happen in other schools that bring pets, well, right? Well, if it's like pretend like stuffed animal day or something. Yeah, it could be. All right, let's read about Brad and see. Now think about the story, Trig. As you're reading, think about what we talked about. Okay. He can't have a pet at school, right? Yeah. Um, lots of kids have pets at school. It's settings taking place at school, right? Yeah. It's realistic fiction, so it could happen, okay? And then problem solve as you're reading, okay? So go ahead. Brad started down at his desk. He was hoping that the teacher must forget to call his name today. Okay. I'm wondering, it kind of sounded funny. When you, when I heard Brad started down at his desk. Oh, stand it down? Wait, no. What could he be doing? St Here's one of those strategies to be thinking about, Trig. It's maybe a new strategy for you that I want you to be thinking about. Lots of times after the name, there's a verb. That means an action. Something he did. And you said he started down at his desk, which is an action, but it doesn't make sense. So he started or he... St Standed? Stared. Stared. Stared down at his desk. Which one is it? Stared down at yeah. his desk. Yeah. So there's a couple strategies you have to think about there, right away okay. in the story. Strategy of what could he be doing? What could the character be doing? Yeah. That's a strategy, a reading strategy to be thinking about. The other one is you have to try it a couple different ways. 
you said started, but another way, a, you have to use that vowel another way, stared. So you used it as r, but you also use it as a. So you have to be flexible and try it a bunch of different ways, okay? So he stared down at his desk. He was hoping that the teacher might forget to call his name today. Oh boy, he's not feeling good, is he? Let's read, see what happens. Go ahead. Can I tell you something I learned though? What? If, if there's um, a thing, if there's a word with a vial, um, and if you can hear that vial, they have to have an E at the end. But that doesn't always happen. Yeah. So sometimes you have to think flexibly and try it different ways so that rule doesn't always work, okay? Yeah. So now we know Brad. Everyone has been asked to take about a pet. Now, what is your brain thinking there? Um, Everybody been, read it again. Everyone had been asked to take take about a pet. Talk. Okay, Talk. so what does your brain need to do when you read? Everyone has been asked to take about a pet. What should your brain be doing? Um, I'm thinking about that word. Your brain should be doing what we call self-monitoring. Your brain should be going, wait a second. Something doesn't sound right. It sounds weird. It's goofy. It's crazy. I have to read it to make it sound right, look right, and make sense. Okay? That's a strategy you got to get in place, Trig, is self-monitoring. Stopping yourself when something seems funny. It's okay. It's okay to stop and, and know it's funny. It's not okay not to stop. Some kids think it's not okay to stop, that they're doing something wrong. But kids that don't stop when it sounds goofy and funny are the ones that are wrong, okay? Okay. All right, so everyone had been asked to talk about a pet. Some children had been... What are you thinking? Um, I'm stuck on that word. Which one? Um, this one. Okay. So what have you tried? Um, I tried summing it out, but... Not working, is it? What's another strategy? Um, re 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 um, re um, read to... What else? What other strategy? Um, um... Let's read on, Trig. Another strategy you can try is reading on. So some children had even hmm, their pets to school. Had even... Even brought their pets to school. Which one was easier? To read on or to sound it out? Um, to read it out. Read on, right? Yeah. So that's another strategy to put it. You need to be strategic, Trig. We're going to make sure that you're strategic and strategies is using your strategies another new strategy you try is you read on okay? okay instead of sounding out we don't want to sounding out is not a good strategy okay so we want to get rid of that one okay well sometimes it is but not most of the time it isn't okay so but brad didn't have a pet he lived on the Around he, he. What's the author trying to tell us here? I I noticed that um something didn't really sound right. Right, but what is here's another strategy. We have to. What is the author trying to tell us? Oh yeah, we can read. We can read on. Right, but what is the author trying to tell us? Um. Where he lives. Where could he be living? He lived on the ground floor of, of a big apartment building with his mom. Look what you just did there. You thought about what the author was trying to do. The author is trying to tell us where he lived. And you were able to do that because you were thinking about what the author was trying to do. 
That's another strategy. There's so many strategies that you've got to work at and use and try those things. So reading on is one of them. Thinking about what the author is trying to tell us is another one, right? Being flexible is another one. All those strategies have to work in that smart brain of yours, okay? All right, there was a sign on the wall that said no, no pets. pets. So his apartment building what? No pets. So now do you think that's why he couldn't what? Um, bring a pet to school, right? Yeah. Let's see what happens. I kind of forgot his name. And try it. Brave or be flexible. Brad. There you go. See how you were flexible? You tried it one way, try it another way. That's what readers do. Brad wished his mother had let him stay at home. He moved his pinkle. That didn't really sound right. Mm -hmm. hmm. Maybe I should just read on and see. Try. He moved case away. Read the whole thing, though. He moved his blank case away from his... Um, drawing book. Okay. Oh, his pencil. <laughs> Trig, what did you do there? Um, I, um, because I noticed that I'm drawing, um, and... That sounded like a pencil, so like... You were thinking, what could he... The pencil case, right? Yeah. You were thinking that, right? Yeah. That's great. And you used that... You know what you did on your own there? You used that strategy of reading on to problem solve. High five, buddy. That's awesome thinking. So he moved his pencil case, looked down at his picture of a blue jay. So he has a picture there. He had drawn it at home last night. Brad loved art, and he was very... Proud of his drawing book. Oh, so he has a picture of a what? I think I already know what the picture is. Well, what the author told us, it's a picture of a... Blue jay. Yeah. It's a type of bird. Yeah, so let's see what happens. Brad's friend Josh was standing in... Front of the class. He had a... a Bring your finger in if you need to. He had his... Um, actually, it's not... Um, I don't think this word will really sound... Um, nope. What do you do? Think strategically. You're not sure what it on. is. Try it. He had his... In his cage... His parakeet. <laughs> Wasn't that a lot easier than sounding out? All right, so tell me something you're going to think about now as a reader. When I meet with you next week, what will I see? Um, me um, reading on and trying to sound out the words. Not, you're not sounding out the words, uh, um, right? We're getting yeah. rid of that strategy. You're reading on to figure out the words, right? Yeah. You're going to be flexible, right? You're going to bring your finger in when you need to, right? So there's a few things you're going to be doing this week to really work hard, okay?